Welcome back. Well, just now we learned how to say these four digit numbers, and let's just do a little bit of review. So I had written down this number. This was, well, if I just write the digits, it's 5998. And we learned how did we say this? Well, this says this is the thousands place, so this is 5,000. This is the hundreds place. 5,900. This is the tens place. So that's 90. 9 tens is 90. So 5,990. And then this was one place, just 8. So this is 5,998. And we also learned how to say this number. And how did we say it? Well, there's 6 in the thousands place. So that's 6,000. There was nothing in the hundreds place, so we just ignored it. There's a 10 here, 1 tenths. So we could have said 6,010 2. But that just doesn't sound right, or that, that's just not how we say numbers in English. And then this is a bit of an inconsistent pattern, but it's 6,012. So hopefully you have a sense of that. So what I'm going to give you, I'm going to challenge you a little bit. What I want you to do is count, and maybe you want to write the numbers down. But I want you to write the numbers down and say them out loud from 5,998 to 6,012. So you know, keep going up one, up one, until you get to 6,012. And it might seem like you have to go a long way, but take my word for it. You're not that far. Um, and, and you can figure out how far you are when you, when you do the numbers. So pause now and try it yourself. Pause right now. And I'm, I, well, now I'm assuming that you've paused and restarted. And I'm going to tell you how to do it. And hopefully you, you figured it out. But, so let's see. We're going to start at 5,998. And we're going to keep going up until we get to 6,012. Let me, let me do it in, with, with our colors. So we started off at 5,900. This might take a little more time if I do it with the colors, but why not? 5,998. So what happens when we add 1 to this, to 5,998? Well, well, we'll just get, we just add 1 to the 1's place, and so that 8 becomes a 9, right? So we add 1. So we get a 9 there. And so we, what, what, what's the number that we get? We get 5,999. Now this is where it gets interesting, right? We have 5,000s, right? 5,000 cans, 999. What happens when we add one more? Well, what's one more than 9? Well, you want to say 10, right? You want to say, well, that, that gets me to 10. And then you would have. You know, you could say 5,990,10, perhaps. You could say that. But remember, just think about this in terms of filling up marbles. All of a sudden, we, in the ones place, we have enough marbles to, to fill up a 10 can, right? So let's, let's fill up a new 10 can. So let's take all of these marbles and put them into a 10 can. So what happens? We, we could, instead of, we could take these 10 marbles and we could put it into one 10 can. One 10 can. So if I wanted to expand this out, how do I write this number? I could write this as 5,000. And I'm going to focus on this a lot because it's really interesting what's happening right now here. This is 5,000 plus 900. Switch colors again. Plus 90, right? Nine 10 cans. And then I have another plus. Uh, have another 10 can. And now I have no more ones, right? Because I took all of these and I put them into a 10 can. I hope I'm not confusing you. So how many 10 cans do we have? Well, we had nine. Now we have one more. So we have 10 10 cans. So we could write this, instead of 5,990 10, maybe we could write it as, and you could see we're going to go through this several times. We, we could rewrite this as, we took all of these and we made it into a 10 can. So maybe we could write this as 5,900 and then 10, 10 tens, 10 tens, which is here. And I think I'm confusing you, right? Because that's, that's the number of 10 cans we have. And then zero ones left over. But once again, we can't. And, and this is, I'm doing this for a reason. I mean, these, this is, let me, let me see what I, this is the thousands place, hundreds place, tens place. Ones place. This is the five thousand. This is the thousands place. Hundreds, tens, ones. And the reason why we keep running into this problem is you can't have ten as a digit. In each place, you can only have a numeral between zero and nine. You can have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can't have a ten there. So whenever you have a ten, you fill up essentially a new can, and so then you have one more ten can. But you can't have ten ten cans. 
What does 10 10 cans fill up? Well, that fills up 100 can, right? So we could take these 10 10 cans and fill up 100 cans. So maybe we could write this. And then if we fill up 100 can, we had 9. How many 100 cans do we have? Well, we have 10 100 cans now. I'm sure I'm confusing you. Or this might be obvious to you. Either way, let's just, let's see. So we could say we have 5,000 or 5,000 cans. We could say we have 10 100 cans, but that doesn't make sense, right? That's the hundreds of place. And then we now have 0 10 cans. It's a slightly different color. And 0 1 cans. So these are, let me draw the places, because you can't have a two digit number in a place, but I'm just doing this for a reason. So these are our places. We have 5,000 cans, 10 100 cans, 0 10 cans, and 0 uh, 1 cans. And these are all kind of the same number, although none of them are valid, right? Because you can't have 10 in a place. You have to only have a digit. So what happens if you have 10 100 cans? Well, we can fill out, we can fill up another uh, 1,000 can, right? Because 10 100 cans is equal to 1,000 can. So let's take these 10 hundreds and add 1 to the 1,000. So this could be. 6,000 cans. And we took all those 10 hundreds, so we have no longer any 100 cans. We no longer have any 10 cans. And we no longer have any 1 cans. And now we are fine, because in every place, we have a numeral between 0 and 9. We don't have some kind of weird two-digit number within the place. And as you can see, the number right after 5,999 is not 5,990,010 or 5,910,0, or 5,10,0,0. These are all bizarre numbers, and I apologize if they're confusing you. The number right after it is 6,000. I did all of that work just to go from 5,999 to 6,000. And hopefully that makes sense to you now. Because you, you can't go from 9 to 10. You're essentially filling up a 10 bucket. But when you fill up another 10 bucket, you now have 10 tens. So you could actually fill up another 100 bucket. But when you fill up another 100 bucket, you now have 10 hundred buckets. So you fill up another 1,000 buckets. And now you have 6,000 buckets, and you've, you don't have any extra marbles. So you have exactly 6,000 marbles. So that was the hard part. So we went from 5,998 to 5,999 to 6,000. And from here, it's easy. What's the next number? I don't even have to do place notation here, I think. It's 6,001, 6,002, 6,003, 6,004. I'm going to confuse you by going over all the way here, but it's 6,005, 6,006, 6,007, 6,008, 6,009. My god, 6,010, 6,011, 6,000. Let me write this in a bold, because I'm tired. 6,012. And we are done. So that wasn't too bad. The, 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 the important thing to, to realize is what happens when you go from 5,999 to 6,000. That that extra one doesn't all only fill up a 10 bucket, which the 10 buckets start overflowing. So you fill up 100 buckets, so that fill, but then you have 10 100 buckets. So you actually are able to fill up a completely new 1,000 buckets. So you have 6,000 marbles at that point. So let's do, let's do that again with, a, with, a, with another set of numbers. And now, just to save time, and maybe because you know you're you're smarter than me, we don't need to do the colors anymore. So let's go from this number to this number, and you might want to try it by yourself before we uh, before I give you the answer. So pause now if you want to. But anyway, so what what is this number? We have nine thousand nine hundred eight tens, so that's eighty seven. Nine thousand nine hundred eighty seven. What's the next number? Well, we will just keep incrementing there. Let me use a vibrant color. Well, let me see. This blue looks nice. So the next number is oh, that's the same color. Well, I'll stick with it. Let me do a slightly different. That's 9,980. We just increment the 1. We're just adding 1 at a time. 88. 9,989. And now what happens? This is interesting. If we want to increase this by 1, what's 1 more than 9? Well, it's 10. But we can't have a 10 here in the ones place. So we're essentially adding, we can take all of these here, so we're going to have 10 ones and make a new 10, right? So essentially, we can take, we could take, add the one, that becomes a 10, so we have one more 10, so that becomes 90, right? What's 89 plus 1? It's 90, right? So then we have 9,990, and now the next few are pretty easy 9,991, 
9,992, 9,993. And I will arbitrarily switch colors for no reason. 9,994, 9,995, 9,996, 9,997. Let me go to yellow. 9,998, 9,999. Now what happens? Well, if I add one more, I get 10 ones. So I could add another 10 uh, bucket, another 10 can, right? But if I add another 10 can, then I'll have 10 tens. And I can't have 10 in the tens place. So then I essentially have another 100, right? What's 99 plus 1? It's 100. But then if I have another, I already have 900s. So if I have another 100, I'll have 10 hundreds. So 10 hundreds is 1,000. So essentially, when I add one more to 999, I essentially get another 1,000. So I add 1 to the 1,000s. So now I have, well, and now I actually have 10,000, right? 10,000s, right? So you know, you could, instead of having a 10 in the thousands place, I actually have a new bucket. I have actually now have a one, I have one 10,000 bucket. So what happens? So I have, you know, instead of having, instead of having this be 10 in that place, and then, you know, 0, 0, 0, although it's looking exactly the same, this is, we can't have a 10 in the thousands place. So what we do is we say, well, no, we don't have 10 one thousands. We have one 10,000. So this is a new bucket. This is a bucket. This is a, a can size that's made out of 10,000s. We have one of them, and I'll do it in a new color. We have one of those, and then we have no thousands left over, hundreds left over, um, tens left over, or ones left over. So we have 10. But the way this is said, it's not said one ten thousands. This is set, this is read actually not too different than this. It's read as 10 thousand. So hopefully that doesn't confuse you and, and you know more than thinking about what happens as we fill up buckets, the nine goes to ten, but you can't have ten there. So you put the one here, but then that goes to ten, then that goes to ten. And you keep going, oh my god, my phone is ringing loudly. But let me just let me just finish this before I answer the phone, because you are more important. But the important thing is to realize that is to see the pattern that what happens when you add one to a bunch of nines, you essentially go to the next place. And you might want to experiment, you know, see what happens when you when you go from the number 97 to the number 102, right? You go 97, 98, 99. And then when you add one more, you can't have 90, 10, right? You can't have 90, 10, so you want to add one more here, but what happens? You can't have 10, 10, 0. I think I'm confusing you. If you go to 100, Right, this is a new place. And similarly, instead of having 10 in the thousands place, you go to a new place, or the 10 thousands place, which is here. So this is 10 thousands, that's thousands, that's hundreds, that's tens, that's zeros. I think this might be pretty intuitive for you. And when you kind of do all the labels, it might be a little confusing. But anyway, I'll leave you there, and I'll see you in the next video.